one, two, five, six, unlocks the door. Very easy and straightforward. If you happen to rent out your room on a room sharing website or maybe just want some privacy to yourself without having to fumble around with a metal key if you don't have to, we have the Holomark Sakura H1 electronic doorknob with keypad. Now it doesn't matter how many people you have coming in and out of your house if you want to give them each their individual pin because it does support up to 50 different unique passcodes at any given time. It does feature an auto lock mode so the door will automatically lock again after it's unlocked once 5 seconds goes by so you don't have to remember to lock it. You can turn on passage mode if you're having a party and you want people to easily come in and out of the room without having to constantly unlock the door because that can get annoying very fast if it keeps happening over and over and over and over again. It's child proof, IP54 splash proof, and even hey I'm looking over your shoulder to remember your passcode so I can come back and rob you later proof because you can actually disguise your passcode inside of a set of random digits so that way the person trying to peep what your passcode is can't do it. Now this electronic door lock does require four AA batteries to power it but that's supposed to last up to two years which is phenomenal but of course like I alluded to before if the batteries happen to die or you don't feel like typing in your code you can always have a backup metal key just in case so you can always enter your room packaging is looking great but what's inside Inside we have an installation guide and user manual. We do have a template in case you need to make a hole in your door, as well as a buzzer and status indicator cheat sheet so you can know exactly what's going on when you hear different things and see different lights. Okay, very nicely packed and this is looking like a very nice quality door lock. Inside of course we do have the two metal backup keys, four Phillips screws for installation, two small, two long, and one medium sized screw, the metal strike plate, as well as the matte black doorknob itself looking, wow, feeling very good and also looking just as nice. If we take a look at the exterior assembly, we do have a 10 digit numeric keypad as well as a check mark button and an LED light along with the metal keyhole in the middle. Okay, buttons do have a nice click to it, feeling good. Everything does look IP54 water resistant for sure. Everything is nice and sealed. Now let's say the batteries die and you happen to lose your metal key and you can't enter your room now because the lock is dead. Down here on the bottom there is a rubber cover. You can pop this open and there's a USB-C charging cable so you can plug in a power bank or even just plug it into a wall if you're close enough. Give it some power so you can type in your code and enter your room. So that's very cool. Now moving on to the interior assembly, there's really nothing going on in here. We just have a screw hole and a doorknob because you don't need to do anything once you're inside. But if we do take off this metal cover, we do have one, two, three, and four AA battery slots so you can power this door lock. Then of course we also do have this cable that's gonna plug in so it can feed the battery power in as well as a reset button. And then right here in the middle we do have the latch. And then over here in the middle we do have the actual latch itself and it's looking very good, feeling very good quality. And this is overall looking like a very easy installation. They say it's gonna be a four step simple installation. So let's go get this thing installed, see how easy it is to install it, and get it set up. Now it's time to get the Holomark electronic doorknob lock installed. Of course, it's going to be a lot easier if you already have a pre-drilled hole from a pre-existing doorknob, but if you don't, it does come with the guide so you can get it set up exactly how you need it. So to get things started, we're going to have to take apart the assembly since it came put together already out of the box. We just got to remove these two screws to take everything apart just like so. And make sure you don't lose these because we are gonna need them to put it back together. And with the screws removed, everything should come apart just like so. We're gonna start by getting the strike and latch installed into the door. If you already happen to have one of these in your wall and this fits inside of it, you can continue to use it if you don't wanna install the new one. As you can see, mine is a good fit, so I'm just gonna leave the one that's already installed. As you can see, the holes are roughly the same size, just a slightly different shape. So now we're gonna take the latch and get it installed into the door. You're gonna make sure you have the flat part over here going toward where the door is going to be closing depending on which way your door closes. We're going to grab two of these small silver screws, put them inside of the latch holes, and get them screwed into place. Just like that, get it nice and flush. As you can see inside we do have a perfect fit. If yours happens to be a bit more inside, you can extend this out to make it fit perfectly, but as you can see we're good to go. Next we're going to get started with the exterior assembly. You're going to make sure everything's facing upwards, the numbers are going to be going around the top, the keyhole's going to be facing vertically, and you're going to be able to read Holomark branding right here in the middle. This little metal rod in the middle, it does say up on it, and you want to make sure that is facing up as you get it installed. We're going to start by feeding this wire through the middle, followed by the metal rod, 
as well as line up the two cylinders on the side to go through the two holes in the latch. Just like so, they'll go through and fit perfectly. Next, we're gonna take the interior assembly along with those two screws we removed from it earlier. As we're installing this, we're gonna make sure the red reset button as well as the wire input are gonna be on the same side that's where the latch is coming out of the door. We're gonna feed the wire through the square hole and we're gonna get it out of the little opening on the side by the reset button. You're gonna line up the metal rod, get it inserted like so, nice and flush. And we're gonna take the screws from earlier, feed them through the holes, and tighten them up. Make sure you don't over tight it, but you get it nice and secure. This did come with some different size screws depending on the thickness of your door. So make sure you use the right ones. There we go, we have it tight and everything is nice and secure, not gonna go anywhere. Next, we're gonna take the male wire and plug it into the female socket. It only does go one way, so make sure you have it the right way and don't force it. It's gonna click into place. We're gonna tuck the rest of the wire inside of the opening here. We're gonna take our four AA batteries. Make sure you use good quality batteries to get the best results. Gonna get them inserted on both top and bottom. We heard a beep once we got them all inserted. And finally, we're gonna press and hold the reset button. until we hear that chime. Next, we're gonna take our interior cover as well as one of these small screws. We're gonna place the housing over the interior, like so, get the little screw, stick it in the hole, and screw it into place. Once again, do not over tighten it, just get it nice and secure. Like so, and it looks like we're done with the installation. To make sure everything's set up properly, you're gonna twist the interior knob. As you can see, the door opens like it should, and then with the exterior knob, Turning it does nothing because it is currently locked. Very cool. And just like that, we got the doorknob installed. It's looking very nice and it was very quick and easy. It really took only about five minutes. So now that we got it installed, before you actually latch your door closed, we're gonna make sure that it's working properly so we can get back inside. So the default admin code is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, three, four, five, six. And then you press the check mark. You can hear the latch unlock and it's unlocked. As you can see, it is working, it is unlocked, and then it'll automatically lock after five seconds and not work. So it looks like now it's safe to close the door because, oh no, we're locked out. But now we're back inside. So everything went very smoothly. So now let's go through the steps of setting up the lock to get it to work to your liking. So remember with this lock, there's no app. So everything is done on the door lock itself. It's very easy to do, but it does come with a cheat sheet that I definitely recommend you keep so you can know exactly how everything works. But in case you happen to lose yours, you can come back to this video for reference. There's also a cheat sheet on what the different sounds and lights mean. So keep that in mind as well. So the first thing you wanna do is change the default admin code from one, two, three, four, five, six to whatever you want it to be. It's very simple. We're gonna press the check mark, type in the current code, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, hit the check mark again, press zero, press the check mark. We're gonna type in our new code. We're gonna just do something easy. Zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five, check mark. Zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five, check mark. Once you hear that long beep, we know that our new code is registered. So now if we do our old code, one, two, three, four, five, six, the door won't unlock. But if we do our new code, 098765, the door unlocks and that's our new admin code that's gonna be used to set up all the other settings. Now, if you wanna add a user code for your friends and family to enter your room, we're gonna do the same thing. Check mark, admin code, check mark. This time we're pressing number one, check mark. And now you can type in the code that you want. So we'll do one, two, three, four, check mark. Confirm it, one, two, three, four, check mark. Long beep, we have a new code, doors locked. So now your friend can type in their code, one, two, three, four, check mark, and the door unlocks. Very cool, you can do that with up to 50 different codes. Now, if you wanna change somebody's code to a new code, we're gonna do the check mark, type in our admin code, 098765, check mark, press two, check mark, type in the code you wanna change, one, two, three, four, check mark. Now type in your new code, one, two, five, six, check mark. Confirm the code, one, two, five, six, check mark. Long beep, and now we have our new code. So one, two, three, four, does not work, but one, two, five, six, 
unlocks the door. Very easy and straightforward. Now, if you want to delete a user code so somebody you don't want to come over can't access your home anymore, we're gonna do the check mark. We're gonna type in our admin code, check mark, press three, check mark, and I'll type in the code you want to delete, one, two, five, six, check mark, long beep, and now that code's deleted, so one, two, five, six, check mark, does not unlock the door anymore. If you want to delete all the codes that are registered in the lock, it's also very easy. Check mark, admin code, check mark, you're gonna press 99, check mark, 99 again, check mark, long beep, and now every code that's stored in here is deleted, so everybody will have to make a new code except for the admin because that code's still gonna work. And of course, if you wanna factory reset the lock completely to factory settings, including the admin code, you're gonna take off the interior assembly and hold down that red reset button. Until you hear a beep, the lock's gonna reset, beep again and flash a green light so you know you can start over. But what if you happen to be throwing a party and you don't want everyone to have to type in a code all the time to get into the room every time they pass through it, which is gonna be a nightmare. You can temporarily turn on passage mode so the door will automatically always be unlocked no matter what. To turn on standardly, we're gonna press the check mark, type in our admin code, check mark again, press number four, check mark, long beep, so now standardly is on. So the door is gonna be constantly unlocked and not lock itself whatsoever. As you can see, five seconds went by, still unlocked. Five more seconds went by, still unlock so people can go in and out at will without having to type in a code. And if you want to turn off passage mode, just press any button, whether it's a check mark or a number, it'll lock the door and turn it back to normal. Now, if you want to turn on shortcut mode, we're going to type in the admin password and hold down the check mark for five seconds. Long beep, and now shortcut mode is turned on so you can open the door at will without having to type in a code. And of course, to turn it off, just press any button on the keypad and it'll send it back to normal after a long beep. Now, one of my favorite features about this doorknob is that it has anti-prying mode. So if you're with somebody, you don't know them too well, you don't want them to peep over your shoulder and see what the code is, you can type in random digits, then your code, then some more random digits, and then press the check mark to unlock it. So for example, we'll do random digits, one, one, two, two, three, three, our admin code, zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five, two, two, seven, seven, eight, eight, check mark, and it'll still unlock because the digits before and after your code don't matter. And then the person who's peeping over your shoulders will have no idea what your code is. But maybe you're not a fan of all the noise that the lock makes when you press all the different buttons. You can actually turn on silent mode very easily. So you're gonna press the check mark, your admin code, check mark again, number five, check mark. And now as you can see, we just have an LED indicator light, but Every time you press anything, there's no sounds. But the door will still unlock. The same, but you won't be waking up your family if you come home late at night. And if you wanna turn the sounds back on, same thing, check mark, 098765, check mark, five, check mark, and now sounds are back. And of course, finally, after you unlock your door, it does have the five second timer to automatically lock it. But if you don't wanna wait five seconds and you wanna make sure it's locked immediately, all you have to do is press the check mark after you unlock your door. So let's get it unlocked. It's unlocked, but instantly locks and now we can't get inside. As you can see, the Holomark electronic doorknob and lock is very easy to install and use, and it's a very well-built, solid design that's gonna withstand the test of time. This is solid metal here, the buttons are very clicky, very accurate, always working, and it's very easy to use going in and out of your house. But what if you have somebody who's old school and doesn't wanna type in a code for some reason, or you know, the battery happens to die because you didn't change it when you heard that low battery warning. We of course have the metal keys as a backup that you can hide somewhere so you can always have a way inside of your house. So let's actually test these out real quick. We're gonna just stick it inside of the hole like any other key, twist it all the way to the right, and you can unlock the door, or you can twist it to the left and still unlock your door. Very easy, and just like that, it's instantly locked once you take the key out. So no matter if you wanna use the metal key or the key codes, it's very easy to use and straightforward, and I can definitely recommend this lock. Very good build quality and very easy to set up and use.